Hello, everybody. Today we want to take a look at some acreage conversion math, which is relatively straightforward. Remember, acreage is just a way of measuring land. Um, square footage is also a way of measuring land, but square footage quickly adds up to be really big numbers when you're talking about land. We usually use square footage for like interior spaces and acreage for exterior spaces, but we can always convert square footage into acreage or acreage into square footage. So if you wanted to measure a house and say a 3000 square foot house, we could actually convert that into acreage. We could say that the house is so many acres or point so many acres if that's what we wanted to do. So just keep in mind what we're doing here is just converting between two different measurements of the same thing, which is surface area. So you have a worksheet and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you here. And we're gonna take a look at that worksheet. Now, remember formulas are everything when it comes to doing math. And you really need to get in the habit of writing down your formulas so that you know what you're doing and learning the formulas and memorizing them. So when you see a question, you're like, okay, they're asking me for this. I know there's only one formula that has that thing in it. And so when you look at this question and it says convert the following lots from acres into square feet, we know only one formula, excuse me, we know only one formula that we have in the class that has both acres and square feet in the formula. And it's got square feet or square footage on top, acres on the bottom, and then 43, 560 over here, because that is the number of square feet in one acre, 43,560. Remember, four little old ladies driving 35 in a 60. Four little old ladies driving 35 in a 60. That is how you convert the number of acres into a number of square feet, 43,560 square feet to an acre. So when we look at this formula, they want us to go from acres into square feet. So when I draw my formulas, I usually don't draw the circle around them when I'm actually doing the math, but I'm gonna fill in the, the words here just so I can keep myself straight, show your work, it always matters. Acres here on the bottom and then 43,560. So let's fill in the information that they give us. They tell us we have 6.5 acres. Well, that is side by side here with 43,560. Whenever we have two numbers filled in on a T-bar, we are ready to do our math. And because they're side by side, that means multiply here. So 6.5 times 43,560, that gives us for this 283,140 square feet. 283,140 square feet is the number of square feet we have for 6.5 acres. So we're going to do that same thing, that same process again here in this question. We've got square footage up here on the top, acres here on the bottom, and then 43,560. And they give us 1.8 acres. Well, again, now that I have two numbers filled in the T-bar, I can go ahead and do my math. And since those two numbers are side by side, I know that's gonna be multiplication. So 1.8 times 43,560, that equals square footage of 78,408 square feet for that one. So 78,408 for that one. And then B, take a look at the same idea here. Square footage on top, acres, 43,560 down here on the bottom. They've given us 0.3333 acres side by side, multiply. So 0.3333 times 43,560. And that equals 14,518.548 square feet. Now, if you rounded it and you ended up with something like 14,519 square feet, you're fine. I don't round. 
generally speaking. What I usually do is go either three or four numbers past the decimal because that's really, really accurate at that point. But if you're a rounder, that's fine. On the test, it's not going to make any difference. There's, it's not like they're going to give you, I'm sorry, not 519, 549. That's my fault. Uh, on the test, it's not like they're going to give you um, answers of, you know, 14,548 and 14,549 and expect you to pick between one of them. That is not going to happen. Don't stress yourself about something like that. Rounding is never going to make a difference in choosing the wrong answer unless you're just being hard-headed. So don't do that to yourself. Don't worry about the rounding. Don't stress the rounding. Okay, let's take a look at D here. We got square footage on the top. And then down here on the bottom, we got acres and 43,560. And they give us 0.25 acres side by side with 43,560. So 0.25 times 43,560. That is 10,890 square feet. So very simple conversion calculations of converting acreage into square footage. So what else do we have? Well, we can go the opposite direction. Same formula. Your formula doesn't change. A formula is a formula. A formula is a roadmap. So it says here, convert the following lots from square feet into acreage. Well, the thing is, I only still know one formula that has both square feet and acreage in it. So it has to be that formula. So I'm going to write that exact same formula again. It doesn't change. I don't move anything around. I put square footage on the top. I put acres on the bottom and 43,560. Don't get fancy and try to move. If you're moving things around, you're doing it wrong. Leave the formula alone, okay? And so now just fill in the information that they give you. They give us 196,450. Well, look, we have two numbers here in our formula all of a sudden. We have this one and this one. Anytime you have two numbers, you're ready to do an answer. You're ready to calculate the other number. So all we need to do at this point is go ahead and I'll fill that back in. I erased it by accident. Do our math. Question is what math? Well, this is top and bottom. And anytime the two numbers that you have are top and bottom from each other, your math with a T bar is going to be division. So you're going to take that 196,450, put the number that's on top in first, top goes in first every single time. Okay. So 196,450 divided by 43,560. And we end up with 4.5098 acres. Now, again, I'm not worried about rounding. If you came up with 4.5 acres, that's fine. If you came up with, uh, you know, 4.51 acres, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Don't stress all that. That's just rounding. It's not going to matter. That's not going to change the answer you choose on the test. Remember, you're taking a multiple choice test. And they're not going to give you answers that are that close to each other. So don't worry about the rounding. I go four past the decimal, but that's just me so that I'm kind of showing you pretty precise unrounded numbers. Okay. So now, same formula, square footage on top, acres on the bottom, 43,560 also on the bottom. And they give us square footage this time of 272. 800. We have two numbers. They are top and bottom as far as each other go, the relationship. So that means division. Top number goes in my calculator first, 272,800 divided by 43,560 equals, and that equals 6.2626 acres. And the good thing is, folks, your formula tells you what to label it as well. I mean, look at that. The one you're calculating is acres. So that's the label you stick behind it. So, you know, because I don't think it's a good idea just to put a number down. 6.2626 what? Bananas, oranges, shoes, acres. It's good to keep that straight in your mind. Nine times out of 10, when people say they're confused about the math, they're actually confused about the verbiage around the math. 
So the more you can write things out, the more things you can make clear for yourself, the better off you're going to be. Don't be lazy when it comes to showing work and writing words out. It makes it makes a tremendous difference in understanding. Same formula, square footage on top, acres, 43, 5, 60 on the bottom. They have given us a lot of square feet, 1,345,000 square feet. And we see that that's top and bottom here. So we're going to be dividing. So 1,345,000 divided by 43,560. And that is over 30 acres, that's 30.8769 acres. This is a pretty big piece of land right there, 30 acres. It's not a, that's not a small piece of land at all. And then finally, or not finally, there's actually two more, I'm sorry. Um, D, we've got same formula we need again, square footage on top, acres, and 43,560 down here on the bottom. What information did they give us? Well, they gave us 21,780 square feet. And we know that's top and bottom from our 43,560. So we're dividing 21,780 divided by 43,560. That is exactly 0.5 or half an acre. It is 0.5 or half an acre. And then this E here, we'll do the same thing again. We'll put square footage up there, acreage down here on the bottom with our 43,560 number. And the number they give us is 10,890. And that is top and bottom from our 43,560. So 10,890 divided by 43,560. And that is exactly 0.25 or a quarter of an acre. That's a quarter acre right there. So what we're saying here is that 10,890 square feet is the exact same thing as a quarter of an acre or 0.25 acre. That's all we're saying. It's just a conversion, just a different way to measure the same piece of land. Do we measure it in square feet or do we measure it in acreage? Okay. Now look at three. It says, how many acres are contained in each of the following lots? Now, whenever they give me a lot question, I find it's really helpful to draw it out for myself. This one says 100 feet wide by 250 feet deep. Don't worry about like drawing a perfect picture. Just give yourself something visual to look at. Well, I know anytime I have the width and depth, length and width of something, I can multiply those two numbers. So I can say 100 times 250 to get the square footage of that lot. 250 times 100 or 100 times 250, the way it works just fine, is 25,000 square feet. But they want to know how many acres are contained. So that's where I have to go back and think to myself, okay, I only have one formula which has square feet in it and acreage in it. And it has 43,560 over here. So then just start filling in the information we know. We know we have 25,000 square feet because we did that math right there. Now we have two of the three numbers in the T-bar. We have 25,000 and we have 43,560. We're ready to do some math. And that math is going to be division because we're top and bottom. So 25,000 divided by 43,560, that equals 0.5739 acres. 0.5739 acres in that piece of land. All right, let's take a look at B. It, and they want to know how many acres again. So this one they tell us is 385 by 420. So something like that. Now we know we can do 420 times 385 to come up with our square footage. So if we do that, 
we end up with 161,700 square feet. Well, we've got our formula, which allows us to convert square feet into acres using that 43,560 number. So fill in the information we have. Our 131 or 161 700 comes over here in square footage. And we've already got the 43 560 in there. So that's two of the three spots filled in with numbers. That means do the math to get the third spot. So 161 700 divided by 43 560. That equals 3.7121 acres, 3.7121 acres in that lot. All right, C is 56 feet wide by 78 feet deep. So we got 56 by 78, Well, we know we can do multiply those two, 78 times 56 or 56 times 78, doesn't matter which way you do it. Either one works just fine. That is 4,368 square feet. All right, well, how do we convert that to acres? Well, we write down the formula that has the two things in it, square feet, acres, and 43,560 finishes out our formula. And we take the square footage that we just figured out, bring it over here, that's 4,368. Now we've got two of the three spots filled in with numbers. We're ready to do some math. They're top and bottom, so that's divide. And I come up with 0. 0.1002 acres. So basically a tenth of an acre, somewhere right around a tenth of an acre. Look at number four, it says, how many acres? So there's our question. So we know how many acres. By the way, I would stop reading right there and go ahead and write my formula down because you're only gonna have one formula the entire class that has the word acres in it. And the question says, how many acres? So you know, you gotta have a formula that has the word acres in it for your final answer. And acres only shows up in this formula right here. It's the only one that has it in there. So we already know what we're doing. How many acres, and we know our question is gonna be right here. How many acres can be developed on a property that measures 400 feet wide? So let's draw a picture here for ourselves. 400 feet wide by 275 feet deep, okay? If 15% of the land must be set aside for streets. Ah, so 15% is unusable. 15% unusable. Because they want to know how much we can develop, but we can't use that 15%. Well, let's figure out what we've got total first. Let's do our 400 by 275. 400 by 275. When we do that, we get 110,000 square feet. 110,000 square feet. We can bring that right over to our formula right here. We can say 110,000 square feet, and we know it's top and bottom, so we know our math is going to be division to come up with acreage. So 110,000 divided by 43,560, that equals 2.5252 acres total. That's the whole thing. But they ask us how many can be developed if we must set aside 15%. So there's a couple ways we can tackle this. I'm gonna show you both of them and either way works, okay? First of all, we can say 2.5252 times 15%. Do that in my calculator real quick. And that equals 0.3787 acres that's unusable. 
And then we could combine that or uh, with the knowledge that we have, it's 2.5252 acres altogether minus the 0.3787 acres that's unusable. And we come up with 2.1464. And that is our total available. And that's our final answer, 2.1464. But there's actually, in my opinion, an easier way to do that. Whenever you're quote unquote setting aside, I'm gonna give myself some additional room here to do this work. Whenever you're quote unquote setting aside or losing a certain percentage of something, think of it as you're always losing it from 100%. You're starting at 100% and you're either going up or down from there. And in this case, we are setting aside, we are losing, we're going down by 15%. So if you go down by 15% from 100%, that equals 85%. What we could actually do, folks, is in one step, we can complete that whole thing by saying, well, we know that we have 2.5252 acres, and we know we're only using 85% of that. So we can multiply that times 85% and try to zoom that down so you can see it all at once. When we do that, when we multiply that 2.5252 times 85%, magically we're gonna get the same 2.1464 acres available. So it doesn't matter whether you do it this way where you calculate the 15% and then subtract it, or if you do it this way where you just subtract 15% from 100% and then multiply times what's left, which is 85%. Either way will work. Either way will work. And it's really what you're more comfortable with. But either way, you need to recognize that there's a total of 2.52 acres available. We're not using all of that, though. So once we take away the 15%, that leaves us with 2.1464. Make sure you go back and review this question several times and get your brain in the right place about removing that acreage. Okay, so let's take a look at number five. How many acres are in section 18 of Township 3 North 4 East? Well, this is an easy question. And the reason it's an easy question is section 18 is the same as section 1 or section 3 or section 32 or section 5. Every section in the government rectangular survey is going to be equal to the same number. One section equals 640 acres. So section 18 is just like any other section. That means section 18 is 640 acres. Now in number six, they've given us the longer full government rectangular survey description. And they wanna know how many acres are represented by each one. Well, here's the cool thing about the government rectangular survey. Every section, as we just mentioned, is the same size. Every section is 640 acres. So 640 is the most important starting number when you use the government rectangular survey. And I'm gonna zoom this up so you can see this a little bit better because I wanna make sure you realize just how easy this is. I want you to look at each one, and I'll circle them in red here, of these denominators, the numbers on the bottom. All we're going to do is start with 640. 
and hit the divide button on our calculator and divide by each one. Never stopping. Divided by four, divided by two, divided by four, divided by two. So I got four, two, four, two. Need to be divided by two. There's that two. Divided by four. There's that one. And divided by two. Let me go back and check myself again. Let me make sure. I'm going to do a different color here. All right, so I got 640 divided by four. There's that one. 640, all right, divided by two. There's that one. Divided by four. There's that one. Divided by two. There's that one. Divided by two. There's that one. Divided by four. There's that one. Divided by two. There's that one. So they're all there. Now I can type that into the calculator. 640 divided by four, divided by two, divided by four, divided by two, divided by two, divided by four, divided by two. Now I got 0.625 acres. I'm gonna write that down real quick, but I'm gonna also check myself here. Always, whenever you're typing that many numbers in a calculator, do it again. 640 divided by four, divided by two, divided by four, Divided by two, divided by two, divided by four, divided by two, 0.625. So that number is correct. 0.625 acres. I should take my own advice and make sure I label that so I know what I'm dealing with. 0.625 acres is your correct answer there. So we're going to do the same thing on B here. We know we're starting with section one. Get that out of the way. Section one, and we know that every section, every section equals 640 acres. So we know if we go back and do the same thing, we're going to be dividing by each one of these denominators as we work our way across. So I'm going to erase them so I can just circle them as I go this time. So it's going to be 640 divided by two. So I'll start typing that into my calculator. Okay. Divided by, so we did the two. Now that's another two right there. Two divided by, there's another two. Two divided by, there's a four thing. So divided by four divided by another four. Okay. So there, and they're divided by another four. So there's three fours in a row right there. Okay. And divided by two. Come up with point. 625 acres again. I'm going to check it one more time just to be careful. 640 divided by two, divided by two, divided by two, divided by four, divided by four, divided by four, divided by two, 0.625 acres. Yep, we're good to go. That's all there is to those questions. Okay, that's the government rectangular survey. Look at number seven. How many square feet are in a partial parcel, excuse me, measuring 4.5 acres? So we go right back to the only formula that has square feet and acres in it. And it also has 43,560. And they want to know how many, oops, sorry, I need to mark through that. I was trying to try and highlight it. How many square feet are in 4.5? acres. Well, I've got two numbers in the T-bar. They are side by side, so that's going to be multiplication. So 4.5 times 43,560. And that equals 196,020 square feet. Number eight. How many acres are found in a parcel of land that measures 480 feet wide by 300 feet deep? So here's my question. How many acres 
write my formula out. I only know one formula that has the word acres in it. It has square feet on top and 43, 560 on the bottom. Remember, that's just a memorized formula. I didn't like put acres there because it was what I was looking for. I put it there because that's where it goes. It's the only formula that has acreage in it, and that's the formula. It's the way it's always arranged. And here's my question. How many acres? What did they give me? Well, they gave me dimensions. They gave me 480 feet wide by 300 feet deep. So I can do 300 by 480. That's 144,000 square feet. So let me fill that in over here, 144,000. And now we got two numbers in the T-bar, top and bottom. So that means we're going to be dividing. So 144,000 divided by 43,560. And that gives me 3.3057 acres in that piece of land. 3.3057 acres. Number nine switches us back to a government rectangular survey question. It says the property represented by the northern half of the southern half of the southeastern quarter of blah, 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 contains how many acres? Well, I know this section 18 contains 640 acres because every section contains 640 acres. And if I start dividing, I'm just going to divide by those denominators, divided by two divided by two, divided by four right there. Oops, I'll write down my two first. Be careful, make sure you get them all. Divided by four, divided by four, divided by two, and divided by two. So go back and check yourself, make sure you got them all. There's two, two, four, four, two, and two. There we go. So I always check. It's easy, really easy to miss one. All right, so let's type it into the calculator. 640 divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 2, divided by 2. That looks like 2.5 acres to me. But again, whenever I'm keying that many things into a calculator, I'm going to clear it out. Do it again. 640 divided by 2, divided by 2. Divided by four, divided by four, divided by two, divided by two. If I got a different answer, I would do it again because I, I want to make sure I get the same answer twice in a row. But I got 2.5 acres again, so it must be 2.5 acres. Okay. Let's see what number 10 has for us. It says, assuming the lot below has a length of 400 feet, which I've already drawn it for us, and a depth of 200 feet, and an unusable protected setback buffer of 10 feet inside the property line on all sides. So 10 feet inside the property line on all sides. That's what that looks like. So that means, I can't use the whole property. I have to come into the property from the outside edge by this 10 feet and I'm all the way around. Can't use that outside 10 feet all the way around. So it makes my usable area a lot smaller. It shrinks my usable area down a lot smaller. How many acres of land is available for development? So here's the thing. They don't want to know the total size of the property. What they want to know is the size of this piece right here. They want to know the size of that piece right there. Well, to, to know the size of that piece, we've got to first figure out what are the dimensions of that piece. That's, that's going to be our challenge here. I know that the overall box, the whole width from edge to edge, if I look at this thing from edge to edge, let me choose a, a color here. So if I go from edge to edge, 
I know that's 400 feet. But I also know that I have to subtract 10 feet on the left and I have to subtract 10 feet on the right. So to get the width from this corner to this corner, it's actually going to be 400 feet minus 10 on the left, minus 10 on the right. This width right here is 380 feet. Now I got to do the same thing when I go in the other direction. When I look at the other direction, it's the whole thing is 200 feet wide, but I'm losing 10 feet here and I'm losing 10 feet there. So it's 200 minus 10 minus 10, which is 180. So that's 180 here. So what I actually have is a usable space, a usable space, which is 180 by 380. Now this is a really involved question. This requires a lot of thought, but visually seeing it should help you a lot because you're losing not just the 10 feet on one side of the property, you're losing 20 feet because you're losing it on the left, you're losing it on the right. You're not just losing 10 feet on the depth, you're losing 10 feet on the front and 10 feet on the back. So that's 20 feet you're losing each way. So what you've got is 180 by 380. And if we do that math, we end up with 68,400 square feet that are available. And now we can take that 68,400 square feet and we can use our handy dandy formula, square footage on top, acreage on the bottom, 43,560 down here. And we can fill in the information we know, 68,400. 68, and now we have two things filled in in our T-bar. We've got the 68,400 on the top and the 43,560 on the bottom. That means divide. And that means we have 1.5702 acres available for use and available for development on that property. 1.57, 1.5702, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 